Moving along now, I'd like to introduce our next session with two speakers on behalf of WDO member Design Intelligence Award. Please join me in welcoming Gao Shiming, uh, who is a professor and president of the China Academy of Art, and Professor Yong Wang, who is the president of the Industrial Design and Research Institute of China Academy of Art and the Secretary General of the Design Intelligence Award Committee. Let's tune in as they explore the mission of design leadership through the lens of their design projects in China. Dear colleagues, during the 21st century, we are experiencing a new round of technological acceleration. The history of human and nature, as well as our relationship to the planet, have all gone through dramatic changes. The Anthropocene has released all sorts of symptoms as a result. With regards to the self-reproducing ruins or flourishing ruins of our time, humans are constantly being technologized, being transformed into non-humans. As of France, art and education are facing new challenges and possibilities. A technological and media development have compared art, design, and knowledge production to change. Various the internet, big data, and artificial intelligence have brought about a revolution in education and learning. As a consequence, the ideas of art education and the form of the university are also being the model. New technologies of digitalization, intelligence, and automation are leading to a sense of poverty. People's sensations, feelings about life, and the vital force of artistic creation are being hollowed out and replaced by various conveniences of the new technologies. What's more, Artificial intelligence and mixed reality are creating a new kind of solidification which even go beyond the class solidification. The automated society is rapidly sliding towards the tragic end predicted by countless scientific fictions that human has abandoned the world and the technology has abandoned the human as well. As my friend Bert Stiegel said in his final lecture at CAA, even the social networks have become an antisocial technology that is creating a new crisis for the sociality, survival of human. Perhaps this is a new barbarism that I don't know and Hockheimer talked about. Today, the network of technology, information, wealth, and power has created a general regime of global governance. This ever involving global governance device has no outside as it blends into the arid life we live in and enjoy. It can even be said that it is our life. This is a deeper and more comprehensive governance to the life. This is our digital being. This is a new empire, the matrix. What this new empire represents is not just ideology and the technology of governance. It is also a way of life, a mode of knowledge, from software to hardware from coding to government. It dominates everyday life across regions and peoples and has seeped into our social fabric and biopolitics, shaping how we behave, dream, desire, and feel. It is a more difficult problem than populism. It is a problem that the current new political needs to face 
and it's the primary problem of today's art, design, and education. Yes, it concerns the preservation of the human. It concerns the development of the human, and I think this is our responsibility. As we have seen, a huge gap exists between the rapid development of technology and the development of society. While the development of human beings lags even more behind. More than forty years ago, Michel Foucault declared that we must defend the society. Today, for the preservation and the development of human beings, it is even more urgent for us that we must reinvent a new kind of humanities. Through our artistic practice and our design. In the past three decades, the main achievement of science and technology has been the development of countless kind of digital objects. Here, I would like to call for a more fundamental exploration of the digital subject, which will be a significant path. Towards the new kind of humanities. A century ago, a group of artists, architects, poets, and philosophers established the Bauhaus in Hudimas, the twin flower of modern art design academy model, in different social bases and historical visions. In the following 100 years, we have witnessed. The development of post-industry and digital capitalism. We have witnessed the crisis and the transformation of design and art academies. One hundred years past, this new century is laying the foundation for itself with the rapid technological integration and entropization. My dear friend. Dear artists, dear designers, how will we depart again? That's all. Thank you. Hello, my dear friends. It's WDO. The topic of my speech today is design leadership: a moment of extensive transformation in design. In today's world. The topic is of distinct background characteristics of the times. It is a moment of great transformation and brand design, and everything is undergoing drastic changes. Talking about leadership is just in time. First of all, I would like to talk about the macro environment of this year. I would first talk about the materialization of digital and the digitalization of methods. From the fall to the defeat of Lee Sedol by AlphaGo in 2016, to the launch of Tesla Roadster into the space by rocket, to the name changes of Facebook to Meta, a series of things that one thing incredible happened one by one. On the other hand, the COVID-19 pandemic has profoundly affected all of us. Just like the online meeting today, of this、uh, unique phenomena of this era for design, it is the best of time. It is the worst of time. From design 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 to design 4.0, in Current era, we witness a range of changes. Human beings once made objects with our hands. Then we realized human computer interaction and mass production, industrialization and informationization, and today with artificial intelligence and the Internet of Everything. In this process, we always believe that. The history of design is evolutionary history of human life. Design is closely related to 
the technology and the life of this era. We can see that the design genius have undergone a major change. We used to see that design is creation and manufacturing, and now we have intelligent manufacturing, which includes computers, big data, mixed reality, and so on. Today, we emphasize the scenarios like never before, like future communities, global ecology, a future factory, and so on, as a change brought about by the scenario and revolution. So the past is a steady state society, while today is a steady state society. Therefore, we can help asking, where is the design? Just as the famous painting, liberty leading the people ships. Perhaps design feels that it is in the leading position in tide of the pants. Oh, design may have shrunk to a small point, as humble as a world. So the topic of leading ship is particularly important in the era. Next, I would like to talk about what is happening in China's design industry. This chart shows the ranking of countries in innovation undertakings from this ranking. We can see China's innovation is constantly developing over and because of the continuous impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the ranking in Global Competitiveness Index was suspended in 2020. In a sense, the COVID-19 outbreak has placed a post bottom for the innovation and the development of the whole world. Let's look at the development of China's industry design. The market size for industrial design is generally increasing year by year. Besides, in terms of changes in international intellectual purpose data, the total number of IPS is constantly increasing, but we have to consider their quality separately. This part is about the IP of some enterprises closely related to design innovation in China. Generally speaking, more and more companies directly or indirectly related to design have been listed, which shows design plays an increasingly important role in the overall economic development in China. It can also be seen from China's policies that the state attached great importance to design. The state has issued a series of documents, policies, and reports to promote to the development of industry design in 2016, Vice Premier Mark Cassidy said at the World Industry Design Conference that industry design enables industry more energetic and the world also becomes better. One of the most important features of today's in design is that design needs great love and great use. This insight also leads us to the design issue. Here, I will show a video which is about a project led by China Academy of Art and me. The Design Intelligence Award, the first international academy award in the field of industrial design in China, the I has been established for seven years, and we have visited all over the world. In the past two years, Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we feel sorry that we can't have face-to-face -face communication. One of the features of DIA is that we have a China division and overseas divisions. Last year, a total of seven overseas divisions were set up. And this year this number has increased to 12 and they will link our promotion of the awards. The second feature of the IA is that it emphasizes academics very much, highlights the unique concept of the pyramid evaluation system, and the expert judges evaluate the entries according to international rules. The IA participants spread all over China and abroad. We deliver courses invite experts from all over the world to give lectures. We also organize workshops with enterprises from all over the world. We also hold your exhibitions worldwide.
We make a close connection with industries, connect with industries from all over the world, and exchange international resources with Chinese industries, as well as Chinese wisdom with world culture. Last year, we cooperated with Forbes to hold the Forbes China Design Selection. DIA has a slogan called Design Intelligence Award is not just an honor, because you can see more possibilities in it. By this video, I want to emphasize DIA's unique pyramid design evaluation criteria. The first layer is the principles of design. The second layer is the design orientation, direction of design, which involves well-being, industry, and the future. The top layer is the impact of design or influence, which includes to express social influence and uh, industry leadership. Social influence corresponds to great love, while industry leadership uh, corresponds to great use. It took us seven years to prove that DI's evaluation criteria are in line with the requirements of this era. In 2016, it is the cost of only one cent is a drinkable book invented by a postdoctoral student of Carnegie Mellon University to solve the problem of healthy drinking water for 2 billion people whose daily living cost is less than $2. Last year, when a fire iron laboratory combines the relief tent and the laboratory into a lighter weight and faster product, which can be built up in 10 hours and put into uh, 20 hours. It present it has supported seven countries. All of these are examples of DI's green love and green use. This is actually the leadership of design. Time is a very important dimension in the development of design, almost all designs are the history of development interwoven with ideas and technologies, and they are in the field of domain of spatial change. From the Bauhaus era to the user-centered design, and then to the index uh, embedding of the industry chain in the Design, the design content is constantly changing under the guide, guidance of uh, ideas and uh, technology. The role of designer has also changed a lot from product design to design manager, and uh, now is design innovation architecture. This transformation is actually the means and uh, the methods of design, influencing, and uh, changing the world. So the point of view I will put forward is the evolution of ideas and the technologies in the time dimension and the space dimension. Today, we are living in an unstable society. It is a four-dimensional society composed of people, objects, information, and machines. And uh, this resource space, time and space, technology and ideas have undergone an uncertain vision. And it may uh, lead to uh, multiple directions and uh, possibilities. The first point is about the time dimension, discuss the value of a single uh, product in time dimension. There are already 10,000 kinds of chairs in the world. Why should we design the 10,000 and one 
in 10, in 2014, uh, a series of things shocked us, such as the close down of San Francisco branch of SmartFan, the acquisition of fuse project by Blue Fox, and so on. As Shakespeare said, to be or not to be, this packaging becomes very important today. Here are some practices about the time dimension in 2007 with reference to Chinese Ming furniture. We uh, designed a set of urban furniture for Hangzhou's residential streets. More than 10 years have passed when I went there a lot of time. It was still standing on the street and the chair that was used on more main roads. I think a design like this has experienced a kind of change over the year and this is the consideration of time dimension. The second example is the recent design of the torch for Hangzhou Asian Games made by our team. Liangzhu culture in Hangzhou is called the relic of the 5,000 year history of Chinese civilization. Here in Hangzhou, the holy flame of Asian games and the torch of civilization are intersected with each other. The torch formed by the sports culture and the Chinese history and culture is a bridge between the national image and the civil awareness, and it is also a kind of Chinese peoples in the cognition and the expression of a culture, which has the characteristics of time precipitation. The second part is about the thinking dimension. Here, I would like to quote a famous Danish physicist, all the problems in the world are problems of thinking. Design as a culture should be considered in the present space and field. We also did a practice in Lei San Miao settlement in Guizhou, southwest China. We made a craftsman a guardian claim the local people are still living in a relatively original state. There, I outlined a uh, plain interweaving the design chain and the industry chain together with my graduate student uh, uh, and the net is Yan Xuan, which not only showed uh, our respect for the local people, local source, and the traditional uh, control, but also participated in the design process through craftsmen. My student designed a series of cuppers and have sold 100,000 plus of them online in three months. She felt very gay. It is not a simple design. It goes beyond the meaning of traditional design. Of course, the change of the thinking dimension is fundamentally cultural innovation. We feel that. Low carbon is more than carbon emission control, and it is an extensive and uh, profound social innovation action. We put forward the idea of low carbon in colleges and uh, communities. We have made a series of changes from architecture, technology, activation, big data, intelligent hardware, and uh, the creation of intelligent uh, Scenarios. During the two months test, we have reduced the electricity consumption of each student's dormitory by 5% to 10%. This project has also won the WSIS champion in the field of telecommunications. The third point is about uh, technical dimension. What we are doing today is more than me. Uh, products, but uh, certain uh, products. As Job said, uh, what we are doing today is a revolution of expanding intellectual boundaries. One of my doctoral students is now engaged in this project. He may study exoskeletons robots by 
cooperating with hospitals and uh, medical institutions. In recent years, the growth of these products is very fast. At a rate of 300%, it present. He has also obtained an investment of nearly 100 million yuan, which is very promising. Let's look at another example. If the previous one is more related to the intelligent product itself, then this is not just an intelligent product, but a scenario creation. Yangzhou Archaeological Park was originally deserted land. We pieced together the geographic information, historical and cultural information of this wasteland through big data and digital modeling to create a virtual and real coexistence world for the viewer. The viewer can capture and symbiose information. And in this symbiosis, all the information and himself form a synthesis. In the end, everyone becomes the leading role in the realm of space. So we created a new way of experience. This is also a new cultural creation. Now I will come to the last point, the fourth space dimension. We used to see that the design is a tool and a language. From today's perspective, we see innovation as a resource. Today, design is increasingly showing the integration and uh, incubation from product service design to innovative resource. Platform is more important than ever in this era. Please allow me to introduce DIA again. Since 2016, we have built an expert database and industrial base, set up a national research projects and uh, state key labor chairs. By this year, we have 13 international workstations. DIA is a virtual body, but in fact, it is not virtual. Here, we can see all kinds of international resources covered by DIA. DIA actually form a union which constantly generates new value. DIA is a platform for communication and cooperation between China and the world. Facing the future, DIA is planning an industrial base, which is about 30,000 square meters. We hope to gather more in innovative resources and design strengths to influence more people. Our call for entry this year is in progress, and the deadline for registration is one week away on July 8th. You can register for free at our official website or through scanning the QR code. There are 10,000 students and teachers in China Academy of Art including about 1,000 in industrial design school, which has four disciplines, life, aesthetics, digital culture and uh, creation, smart mobility, and uh, intelligent interaction. Here, I would like to offer an invitation. We are set up as the International Design Strategy Advisory Committee, which focus on the international design frontier and uh, jointly push the design innovation course to a more solid and uh, broad space. And we want to invite international first-class experts and uh, scholars to join us. Welcome your guys. Thanks for listening and have a good day. Welcome back, everyone. A quick thank you to Professor Gao and Professor Wang for that unique perspective from China and to WDO member Design Intelligence Award for organizing that session. Mm -hmm.